Before I start today's actual video, just like I promised in the last one, I'm going to show you guys my huge money gain from my Zen Garden. As you guys can see, I'm currently at 395 coins. Cash. Kind of. Y you guys get what I mean. But now... I am at... That gave me... Three thousand. <whistles> that is insane. So, yeah, I'm going to be planting my new batch and hopefully I get some more. Eh, not many, but I got what I got. So. Uh, that is it for this portion of the video. Let's meet back with uh, current timeline helper and get right back to the actual video. So, as you guys might notice, I have not done any off-camera work. That's on purpose, because I wanted to uh, do some of the next steps with you guys, in case I accidentally get some achievements. Again. Because that has happened to me a lot. I'm turning down this volume a bit. I thought, I thought I would have the volume on maximum, but this is starting to blast my ears just from hearing my dog. A.K.A. Willa. Okay, so, oddly, for some stinking reason, uh, if you guys saw the last episode, the rain was going directly through my roof like it wasn't even there. So, that's very odd. Am I seriously going to start lagging already? So what I'm planning on doing today is not really much. I'm going to be collecting some sweet berries. And trying to make a sweet berry field for myself. To hopefully eventually put around my house. Out. You know, I actually have a very nice idea for sweet berries that might make it so if you have a sweet berry bush, um, like, circle or whatever to protect your house, um, an idea I have is if you have... For an update that Mojang can probably do is if you have thorns on your uh, on your pants and boots, then you will no longer be pricked by uh, the sweet berries because your armor has thorns. It makes sense if you think about it. And at the same time, it sounds really dumb. But in fairness, 50% of my plans are dumb. So, what I'm planning on doing today is I'm probably going to be trying to get some fish. So I can start taming some cats. So I can start getting that achievement. Also, yes, I see the sheep over there. I'm going to be 
Trying to get that cheap litter. Don't worry. It, it's one cheap right now, so I'm not going to bother just yet. I'll bother later, but not just yet. So, hopefully my plan works out, and I can get a bunch of fish. And maybe if I'm lucky, I could probably even get some uh, good enchantments. Now, I'm not going to show the entire fishing process. I'm obviously going to show uh, the loot and everything that I get. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about a fishing... A I felt a vibration. I think someone just slammed the front door. Odd. But, um, yeah. Hopefully everything goes well. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get a bunch of stuff. Maybe if I'm lucky I can get a mending book and I can put that on the trident and heal it that way. Can tridents get, get mending? I don't know. I don't know. One thing's for certain, though, I am definitely going to be getting, well, hopefully trying to get some fortune. Or would you look at that? I forgot I had a bunch of this stuff. Well. Don't I just feel silly now? Alright, so, yeah, I really need to start transferring this chest over to uh, this house at some point. Because I keep forgetting to do that. I also keep forgetting to make a house for the rest of my uh, wolves. Uh, do I already have a crafting table in here? I do not. I should bring that one in at some point. And these chests are starting to get full. So I'll have my trident on me. I will put the bone meal away. The logs I got because I thought I needed the wood for, you know, the fishing rod. But I already had a fishing rod. With luck of the sea, unbreaking, and lore. I, I really wonder what lore is meant to be. I know what it does. It makes the chance of fish going into your... Uh, on better. Two trident drowns. What are the odds of that? Same odds of me getting either trident. Yeah, I'm going to be getting some more armor. I'll be right back. This stuff's expensive. Like, holy cow. By the way, I was thinking about switching to my Sharpness 3 sword, but then I noticed they both do 9 damage, so there's really no point. Hey, buddy. Wow, I actually got the trident. That is a real shocker. Look, I'm not being sarcastic either. That actually is really shocking. What happened to the other one? I'm going to get hit from behind by him. I, I'm calling it right now.
Not by a trident drowned, but by a drowned, so I technically called it. Okay, so the drowns are coming from this area specifically. What's over here to cause so many drowns? Is there a drowned spawner or something? Because this is where 90% of the drowns come from. Wow, my conduit reaches even from over here. Man, conduits are powerful. Conduits are really powerful. What the heck? I still have it. Okay. So, there's a little section I want to cut off uh, in another episode. But I need to get a lot of sand for it. I'm not using wood because that's just going to make the ocean look ugly. Uh, Evey. This is why I need sea pickles. Why do they only spawn in coral reefs? Come on, sucker. Seriously, though, it's really confusing. When I hit them, they go up. But when they hit me, I go down. Does anyone else find that very confusing? Or is it just me? Eh, oh well. But what is most confusing to me is, why do they drop copper a bunch nowadays? Like, ever since copper was added, that's their most common drop. Rotten flesh does not count as a common drop, by the way, because that's what all zombie mobs give. So, I'll be right back while I do some fishing. Okay, so before I do the fishing, uh, I started combining the pickaxes... The tridents! I don't know why I said pickaxe. And it turns out I need one more! Who would have guessed? I'm still gonna fish, though. There's a spider outside my house. Okay! Uh, so, I did a lot of fishing, and... This bow... Unbreaking 3, Curse of Vanishing, Power 3, Infinity, and Punch! Whew. Oh, boy! Whew! Whew. If I was a better uh, bowsman, then that would be just. Oh boy, that. Whew. This would be scary. By the way, if any of you don't know what Curse of Vanishing is, it's uh, if you die. And keep inventory is off, the bow will vanish completely. Like, you know how the timer is normally like five minutes? You have five minutes to pick up an item? Yeah, if the item has Curse of Vanishing, you have zero seconds. Oh, you can't remove Curse of Vanishing. 
That's interesting to know. I'm pretty sure it works the same if you just drop it. No. Okay, whatever. I got some levels out of it. How on earth am I holding this bow? Because that's not normally how that works. By the way, the spider was not on, uh, near my house. It was on my roof. Go figure, right? Huh. The aiming mechanic's still the same. Odd. Well, I'm gonna run this bow dead. Wow, for having just Curse of Vanishing, this is lasting a while. You know, for being on insanely low durability and uh, being only Curse of Vanishing, that took me three uses. Use I had to pick up uh, all 12 arrows three times. In order for it to break. That's a lot of uses. Just for a very, very, very dead bow. For a second I thought I was going to have to title this video. Unbreakable bow. Without unbreaking. That would have made for a great title. But yeah, as you guys can see, all I have been getting is fish. Are you serious? The sun is basically down. Let me sleep. Thank you. But yeah, for real. That would have made for an amazing title. Am I wrong? So yeah, what I'm going to be doing today, guys, is... Uh, just this fishing and hopefully I'm going to also be able to find uh, can you fish up a diamond? Pretty sure I have a diamond pickaxe so if I'm able to fish up a diamond then I might might be able to get some well, be able to get an enchantment table we will see we will see. Yeah, until then, I'm just going to be doing a lot of fishing. And once I reach enough levels and enough fish, I'm going to be moving on to something else in this episode that might not be as boring, but might be a little boring. I don't know. So I'll be right back and update you guys again once I get some amazing loot. So, I fished up a tripwire hook in one of these. I also got two new bows. One of them is... Eh. Eh. On the one hand, Unbreaking 3 and Mending. Which, unfortunately, I can't put that on a book. I wish I could put the Mending on a book so I could put it on something else. And I also got a Punch 1 bow. But... This tripwire hook, it made me realize, do I want to try and invest in some tripwire traps? I don't know. Would that be fun? Would it matter? If you guys want me to do anything revolving around tripwire traps or anything like that, maybe a tripwire activated door, let me know in the comments. I, I would love to know your opinion on this. And hey, my first puffer fish. That could be used in a potion. Speaking of... <laughs> water bottle. 
fan è... Man, I, am, I have so many Nautilus shells. If other people are on this uh, world, I could so use that. Like, holy cow. Anyhow, back to the off-camera part. Sorry again. You know, I've always wondered about Minecraft fishing. What fish is the most common out of all of them to fish up? Well, if you guys take a look at my inventory, it's obviously cod. Cod are the most common fish when fishing. In Minecraft. Also, I got a name tag, so that's pretty cool. How often am I just going to get cod? I might go mining at this point, because I'm getting so many levels. Like, to try to find a diamond. And, you know, get some obsidian. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I think I'm... I don't think I'm going to be getting any enchantment books from fishing anytime soon. So... I'm going to go find a cave, not in the water, preferably. Actually, I could probably go in the water and search the, one of those caves right there, because I do have the conduit that apparently extends super far. So I might go mining. Uh, hopefully I can find some diamonds. Hopefully I don't die. Munds. Eh? Nah, that, that joke was awful. I'm sorry. So. Now I'm going to take care of all my fish. Is it possible to craft a barrel? If I can craft a barrel, I might just put all my fish stuff in there. But for now, fish, fish. Fish, puffer fish, name tag, trip wire, useless bow, useless bow, rotten flesh. Twelve. I have twelve of these. Wow. That really says a lot, doesn't it? I don't need a, a, either of these. I need to keep bones on me because of, you know, m mobs. Skeletons, specifically. I don't need my fishing rod. I'm going to be getting my iron pick. Wait. That's stone. Which I should put in the grindstone, get my levels back from that, because it's almost dead. I swear I had a diamond pick. Huh. I guess not. Odd. Well, then. I guess I'm going to have to be looking for more diamonds than I thought. That's the wrong chest, helper. There you go. Oh, that hurt. All right. So, I'm going to head to the cave, and I'll update you guys when I find something good. Okay, so fighting some drowns again, trying to go into this cave, and I just got a nearly full, well, a nearly halfway full trident. Meaning, if I combine that with my current trident, I can have a perfectly regenerated trident. Isn't that awesome? 
And I just need to find a way to get loyalty and ba ba boom. If I can get loyalty on my trident, then I will have the best weapon in the ocean update. Then drowns will fear me. I hope my conduit can reach uh, low enough to to a point to where I don't well to where I'm no longer in the water. I am really far away and I still have it. Man, this conduit is powerful. Yeah, no, there it is. Now I'm starting to lose it. And I got it back again. Is everything here underwater? Really? That's a lot of coal. Seriously? Not a single cave that leads to an actual cave? That's absurd. There's so many different cave entrances, but there is no actual cave anywhere. Wait, this might be one. Gravel, maybe that's the roof. No. This is really starting to become very strange. Well. I guess there's, uh... guess there's nothing. Huh. Well, it's a good thing I have conduit power over here, so I can, you know, get this coal. Actually, I should probably break this gravel first, so I don't accidentally suffocate myself. See? That would have been really bad when getting the coal. Yeah, this is, this is an interesting turn of events. Um, I might just end this episode getting a fully restored trident. Should probably get back in range of my uh, conduit. Yeah, there we go. I'll bring my water breathing potion over shortly to explore that little bit. But this is. Wow. Uh, I think I'm gonna call this. Well, you guys know what I'm gonna call this episode, so I'm not gonna say it aloud. So, uh, I'll be right back while I finish off this trident. Alright, so here I go now. The full trident! Ha ha! 
Uh. So, going to toss out this rotten flesh because who cares? I got a full trident now, so that's amazing. Now I just need to wait till I get some loyalty, and then I can I can start using the trident. Because believe it or not, despite having really garbage aim, I really like using the trident. It's no longer full, but it's missing one durability, so who cares? So, anyways, guys, I am now going to be ending this episode and video here. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time, and goodbye!